And you might have noticed a new on ramp just off Donaldson Pike. The opening of exit 216 is the first completed portion of this ongoing interchange project. But the Tennessee Department of Transportation tells News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry this project still has a couple more years before it's wrapped up. One portion of the interchange project on I-40 finally has the green light. Drivers traveling westbound on I-40 to Donaldson Pike are going to see this exit pop up a little sooner than they used to. In 2022, the Tennessee Department of Transportation, or TDOT, began building the new ramps onto Donaldson Pike. Today, those ramps are open and accessible through exit 216. There's going to be lots of signage in place to make sure they know about it. Um, but this was the first part of this big, big project. Aaron Ziegler with TDOT says this project is focused on helping with airport traffic. Right now, it is a trumpet design the way the exits are. We're going to make this a diverging diamond interchange or a DDI. So what that does, it's a crisscross design over the interstate that's going to allow both directions of traffic to cross to opposite sides of the roadway in order to get across the overpass and back to the original traffic pattern. In May, TDOT announced a partnership with Metro Nashville Airport Authority, offering a $6 million incentive to the contractor working on the site if they are able to complete the project ahead of schedule. And Ziegler says it is working. The entire project with the diverging diamond interchange and everything that goes along with it, that is scheduled to be complete in April of 2027. So we're hoping that we can accelerate this project and it can, it can be done by, by 2026. The next portion of the project will be in the fall. Construction crews will set up beams under the bridge over the interstate, resulting in nighttime lane closures and rolling roadblocks. In Nashville, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2. Well, in a statement, BNA said we are supporting our partner TDOT in their efforts with this roadway project. And for you to stay up to date on any kind of road closures, you can visit the traffic section on our website, WKRN.com.